This is our rotating tank, consisting of a clear acrylic tank that can be filled with water and placed on a turntable that can rotate. There's a camera mounted on the turntable that rotates with it. The turntable spins counterclockwise with an adjustable rate of rotation between 1 and 30 rotations per minute. Out here, we are viewing it from our non-rotating or inertial reference frame, as if we were out in space viewing the rotating Earth. But we can also view what is happening from the rotating reference frame from the camera mounted and turning around with the turntable. This is how we'd view things as if we were on the rotating Earth. As you can see, it looks like my hand is spinning around, but in fact, my hand is not actually moving. The tank is moving. Viewed from the inertial or non-rotating reference frame, you can see that my hand's not moving, except for when I have to move it out of the way of the rotating camera arm. Whereas viewed from the rotating camera, it looked like it was spinning. Let's take a closer look at the turntable. You can see the motor beneath it. This motor drives a rubber friction wheel, which then causes the table to rotate. We can also look at both viewpoints at the same time, our view from the co-rotating camera and the side view from the non-rotating perspective. This really emphasizes that these two frames of reference give us fundamentally different perspectives on what motion, or lack thereof, looks like.